Good morning, Broadway. Let us join together in the call to worship. Within our personal and shared isolation, we ask, Where are you, God? I can't feel near. We come in faith and hope that God will hear our questions and will turn toward us. Within our personal and shared distress, we ask, How long will you be gone far from me? We come, trusting in our past experiences of God, and look in anticipation of your love. Within our faith and hope we ask, wherever you are, God, look on us all with love and come near to us so that we may grow in trust that your unfailing love is confirmed for us. We come to sing and celebrate the enduring and patient love of God who knows our fears and despair and who answers our fear-filled questions in ways we can understand. Together, we will rejoice and sing about the goodness and mercy of our faithful God. Amen. This morning, as we approach God's throne of truth and grace, I would invite you to take a moment to breathe, slow down, And as authentically as we can together, let's invite the Spirit of the Lord into this place and ask God to make this time sacred, life-giving, a time of truth-telling and healing. Would we come with our heaviness, with our confusion, knowing that God takes us just as we are? So come this morning with ears to hear and eyes to see, looking for ways that the Spirit of of God is working in the world. So as we light our candles, let's reflect as Giselle plays, I will trust in the Lord. We will now have a reading from the Psalms, Psalm 13, a Psalm of David. How long, O Lord? Will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul 
and have sorrow in my heart all day long. How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death, and my enemy will say, I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. This ends the reading. Hi, um, my name is Taisha Bradley. I'm a member of Broadway and um, I'm a freelance artist that used to have a studio up on the third floor of Broadway. And I was asked to talk about the Black Lives Matter signs that I designed um, that we sold at, at an event that me, Roger and Wydell and Phil kind of put together. Um, we kind of put together a presentation on how to be a white ally and practical tips on how to uh, support the Black Lives Matter movement other than just posting on social media. So if that is, um, whether that's donating to a racial justice group or um, just being, you know, uh, there for your friends who are affected by issues like the George Floyd incident, um, you know, and when we were presenting those, um, those tips, um, we had sold the signs at the end and all the proceeds went to um, racial justice groups. So that's that's where we were, were uh, sending all the proceeds to. And uh, I kind of donated my services to design the sign. And the the interesting thing about the design is that's a design that I did three years ago Um you know, during the kind of the height of the Colin Kaepernick situation, um, I had designed the design for like a cousin of mine and he wanted to put some posters up. And so I just kind of, (laughs) um, retooled the design for, for now. Um, so I always think that's really interesting that, you know, um, three years ago when I designed the sign, like nobody was ready to listen. And so now it seems like people are are actually attempting to listen now. So <laughs> um, it's nice that the that the the message is finally getting out there. So um I you know if you if you want uh, a written document on the things that we that we talked about, um you can email um Roger or Allison and I'll probably leave their um their information just if you're interested in 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 what we talked about during that presentation and and also um uh, and how you can buy a sign for yourself um and so i just i'm just glad to use my my skills to to help in any way um you know i'm an artistic person so that's how i i visually speak and hopefully something good will come out of all this so thanks when Israel was in Egypt land, let my people go. Oppressed so hard, they could, they could not stand. Let my people go. Go down, down. Go down, Moses. Moses waited in Egypt land alone. Pharaoh to to let to let my people go. Thou said the Lord. Bold Moses said, let my people go. If not, if not I'll smite your, your firstborn dead. Let my people go. Go, go down. Go down. My people go, no more shall they 
doing? How are you holding up? You've been asked these questions more times than I can count in the last three months. Perhaps you have had those questions too. It is right for us to check in on one another. After all, we are fighting three crises concurrently. The crisis of coronavirus, the crisis of economic fallout, the crisis of racism, and continued structural injustice in our country and across the world. Each of these crises uh, affect us each in one way, shape, or form, some of us more than once. Many people have been self-quarantining for over a hundred days at this point. Many people have lost jobs or sources of income. Many people have been carrying the weight and anguish of racism, microaggressions, and the pain of 400 years of oppression within themselves. And so we are exhausted and we are grieving. We grieve the loss of life, the loss of black beloved children of God whose lives have been unjustly stolen by racist system and racist people. We grieve the loss, the loss of jobs, the loss of certainty. And is it important to listen to these feelings, to acknowledge when we feel exhausted, broken down or battered beyond repair. We must create space to hold this grief, both individually and communally. God is a God who grieves with us. And so this week we are going to do something a little differently than having a traditional sermon. 
we are going to walk through the practice of Lectio Divina together. Uh, Lectio Divina is a traditional monastic practice of scripture reading, meditation, and prayer that is intended to promote communion with God and to increase the knowledge of God's Word. This practice doesn't teach scripture as text to be studied, but rather as a living word. So today we are going to read Psalm 13 four times. And after each reading, there will be a prompt and some time to meditate and reflect on what God is saying to you today. So take some time to make yourself comfortable in a quiet place. And then we will begin with a centering prayer. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know. Be still. Be. Amen. As we read Psalm 13 a first time, just listen to the words. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death, and my enemy will say, I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trust in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. As we read Psalm 13 a second time, pick out a key word or a phrase to focus on and reflect on what God might be saying to you through this. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death, and my enemy will say I have prevailed. My, fo my foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trust in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, because he has dealt bountifully with me. As we read Psalm 13 a third time, 
allow the pause afterwards uh, to give you time to pray. What do you want God to hear from you today? How long, O oh Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O oh Lord my God. Give light to my eyes or I will sleep the sleep of death and my enemy will say I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. As we read Psalm 13 a fourth and final time, create space for gratitude in your heart. How long, O oh Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death. And my enemy will say, I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, because he has dealt bountifully with me. Lord, may the words we have heard be imprinted on our hearts for the week ahead. Be with us as we go forth. We thank you for this community who holds one another and our grief together. Amen. Let us enter into a time of prayer together. Precious God of remembrance, have you forgotten your servants? Have you left us to battle and to struggle with grief and pain so evident in this world? Have we gone too far astray that you have decided to leave us? We confess that we are lost, God. We confess that we continuously fall short. We endure with gritted teeth the reality that sometimes we are far too familiar with anguish than with joy. We also confess, God, that you are God throughout. You are God throughout the pain. You are God throughout the trials. You are God in the midst of struggle. We confess that your presence 
and your godliness within this reality grounds us to the truth that your love pours out over us. Your love seeks to renew us, to restore us, and to transform our being. So God, we pray that you make evident the renewal, the restoration, and the transformation we need to walk into life anew. Precious God of remembrance, remember us. Amen. They say God has a plan for everyone. They say God has a plan, what he wants for us to be. But I'm lost, and I tried to make it on my own. So God, do you have a plan for me? God, can you spare a plan for me? Standing at a crossroads I don't know which way to turn But I got to make my mind up Cause I don't have time to burn They say God has a plan for everyone They say God has a plan What he wants for us to be but I'm lost And I tried to make it on my own So God, can you spare a plan for me? God, do you have a plan for me? Now I'm fiercely independent But I usually find my way now I'm thinking of my chance in life And I watched it slip away They say God has a plan for everyone They say God has a plan What he wants for us to be But I'm lost And I tried to make it all my own so God, do you have a plan for me? God, can you spare a plan for me? Now I'm full of doubt and I wonder if I'll ever find my place. Will I leave this world with nothing, disappear without a trace? They say God has a plan for everyone. They say God has a plan, what he wants for us to be. But I'm lost, and I tried to make it on my own. So God, do you have a plan for me? God, can you spare a plan for me? They say God has a plan for everyone. They say God has a plan, what he wants for us to be. But I'm lost, and I tried to make it on my own. So God, do you have a plan for me? God. Have a plan for me. Let us together affirm our mission. As followers of Jesus Christ, responding to God's love, our mission as the people of Broadway Church is to be a multicultural Christian community that in its ministry seeks, welcomes, and values all people. Even in the midst of great pain, sorrow, and uncertainty, 
God walks with us and guides us. As we go forth into this week, let us be reminded of God's presence in the world as we act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with God. Amen.